I'm Stephanie Barrick, Stephanie Lael Barrick, and I teach at Wilmington Christian School, which is in Hocassin, Delaware. Okay, and tell me about your sculpture, Living Light. How did that come about? What inspired that? Well, I have a project that I do with my students, and it's called Light Painting. And in the photo class, we take photographs of moving lights. And so we take lights and we swing them around and we control them in different ways. And we use a very slow shutter speed so that that stream of light is what's captured in the image. And I recently discovered that you can print photographs on metal, which thrilled my heart because I love working with metal. And so it enabled me to drill through the photograph and to manipulate it in different ways uh, without bending it up like it would, you know, or tear it like it would on paper. So it allowed me to use metal mesh and metal rods, which is a material I've used for years and years with various other things um, with the photograph. And so I did some light painting and then I took the mesh and incorporated it together. Okay, and why do you feel it's important to teach art with so many schools doing away with music and arts and your, I guess, basic humanities? Why do you feel it's important to keep those subjects in school? I think the speaker tonight actually used a quote that said it very well. You're actually learning life skills and very important life skills in art class. You're learning to articulate something you're looking at, a, an intelligent thought about something you're seeing. If you see a car accident, you need to be able to describe what you saw to the police officer. So if you're an art student, you've learned how to describe what you're seeing. And problem solving is huge. Cre the freedom to create, and you still have the boundaries of gravity and the characteristics of the material, and there are always limits. And of course, time and money and space and you know all kinds of other limits that are a natural part of our life. But in art class, you have this freedom that isn't necessarily in other places to create with broader boundaries. And so I think the life skills that they learn in an art class serves them no matter what career choice they make. And so what advice do you give to those young artists as they're sitting in your class? Take a risk, take a risk. Try something that you're not sure if it's gonna work. If you're halfway through a painting and you get this great idea and it's either gonna ruin it or make it great, do it. Take that risk. It's better for it to be a great failure or a great success than to be mediocre. So take that risk. Okay, thank you so much for your time and enjoy your evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>